I'm back! Big sorry to the six of you who missed me while I was gone. Uh, you know, shit happens. Uh, I got distracted with work, or lack of. Uh, and I've actually been working on a few projects. Uh, mainly, I wrote and directed my first music video. Um, I'll leave the link in the description uh, if you want to go check it out. They're a wicked band. I'm quite happy with the video. I think it's all right. Anyways, I'll hopefully have a bit more time now, so I'm going to get back on the YouTube horse and uh, make some more shit content for my grandparents to disapprove of. So while I was thinking of what video to make, uh, I was looking down my timeline at all the popular videos at the moment, and I couldn't help but think, like, what happened to the OG YouTube? YouTube used to be a place where random people would upload wedding fails. Oh, oh God! No! no! Or dogs with worms. Uh, now it's all high production and editors and celebrities. I thought the platform was doomed to mainstream media. But with the likes of Blue Van Man and Robbie Knox, I've got hope. So I've decided to delve into the darkest corners of YouTube and find the hidden gems and react to them. Welcome to the first probably only episode of YouTube Roulette. Right, let's crack on. First up, let's just spam the old keyboard. Uh, all right, let's go with this one. 196 views. Ese vuelo, ya no me creo, ningún te quiero. Un hombre nuevo, hablando contra todos aquellos celos. No tiene dueño, ella sola fue capaz de quitarme de en medio, quitarme el miedo, quitarme su pelo, quitarme las ganas, quitarme del cielo. Ya no veo luces, paras a pensar en las promesas a lo largo. Paras a pensar si fuéramos si habría algo. Caminata de tropizos en caminos claros, sufrimientos y disparos secos a los palos. Y ahora cuando todo vaya bien, ya no mires. I can't work out where he is. Like, uh, obviously there's a football pitch, but it looks like it could be just in the middle of a federal detention center. Es que en su día yo te guardará rencor. Es que yo recuerdo cada día por... Oh, okay, she, she's pregnant. So a football star's got a girl pregnant. It's the Maradona documentary. Cicatrices con latigos a los Sara, las falsas promesas que vestían tu mirada. Esquivar las piedras solo para mí, desaparecer en el cielo, lo superi. I don't know what he's saying, but this motherfucker's... <laughs> Bésame, 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 eh. Well, congrats, GF. Can't wait for the EP. Next. <laughs> right. How to make an SGFC for home mushroom cultivation. Right, come on then, Arvin. Let's give it a, give it a whirl. Hello guys, Arvin47 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own shotgun fruiting chamber for at-home mushroom cultivation. <laughs> See? You get everything on this channel. This is a constant source of education. Okay guys, so you guys have your tub ready, you guys got your marker and your ruler. I I'm a bit wary of the floating silhouette of Jesus. Uh, I feel like I'm being judged for my sins for not having an at-home mushroom cultivation kit. One fourth drill bit like I have here, and you're ready to make your first hole. This is how you do it. You kind of put a little pressure. <laughs> you can tell he's tried to film this a few times. Okay, guys, as you can see, I got my holes on all six sides. My free air exchange holes. So now I'm basically done. This is, this is what a shotgun fruiting chamber looks like. All you need now is the perlite, but I'll show you how to fill it up in another video. I'm out. Love yourself, love your friends, and love your family. 
What a beautiful man. This is the kind of energy we bring into 2020. Yeah, this is exactly what I set out to find when I started YouTube Roulette. Just random shit done by just wonderful humans. Next. All right, here we go. 1.4 thousand views. Let's do it. Oh, mate, come on. This is the intro montage. You can't put the bloopers at the start. Play the game. <laughs> That's very satisfying. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> hey, my guy's got a bit of swag. Just see him hit the wall. He did his little flippy thing and just went. Oh! Oh no, that's some Matrix shit. Did you see he just defied physics? When he went out on the side, it's, it was like, Whoa. This isn't real. Okay, now this is sick. Not only are they twisting the things as well, but these guys got swag. Did you see him pop the, the watering can? I mean, if you look at where they are, like, it's not the first activity that comes to mind on the lads' holiday to MAGA. But I f*** with it. Anyways, next. Uh, the Transcend Jerk Queen Jerk Bait. <laughs> title sounds a bit sus. Okay, what have I got to lose? Do it for the views! Hello everyone, today I will give a brief introduction about a new product from Chasen. She is a brand new developer jerk bay named Jerk Queen with length 1 to 5 millimeters. She is a rechargeable twitching fishing lures. Hey! <laughs> I got jerk baited! It's a fish! Work in the water over 12 hours after full power. So we need to get her full charged. I've got a question. Uh, it's 2020. Why are we gendering our fishing bait? Like, uh, we need to get her fully charged. Now let's see how to charge it. It will take around two and a half hours to reach full power. Two and a half hours? It's a fish, not a bloody Tesla. So now we will present to you how she works. Yeah. So that's it. It literally lights up and vibrates. I'm pretty sure they sell those in Ann Summers. So, let's see what colors we have for her, then her post and working status in the water. <laughs> Sexy mackerel! Sexy bass. Why are they all named after obscure aquatic porn stars? They literally don't do anything. They just sort of float around in the water and vibrate. Oh no, they kind of wobble a bit. Went from zero to 
zero to a hundred so quick. This is no floating dildo. This is a this is a nautical powerhouse. <laughs> Is that it? What, what, why would you put that in the last 10 seconds of the video? Surely that's the selling point of the whole thing. Otherwise it's just a piece of plastic which vibrates. But no, nah, no, nah, this is a whole fish. I love the internet, man. Well, folks, I think we've discovered the weird and wacky and wonderful side of YouTube. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and definitely subscribe. I'm going to be trying to do a lot more, uh, trying to do a balance between like stupid videos and some more serious ones. Uh, I guess uh, much like this series, you never know what you're going to get. So yeah, so that's that's all from me. Uh, just remember, love yourself, love your friends, and love your family.